Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Epoch and in this video I will be showing you how I killed the second boss in Dragon Quest Builders 2 being the Medusa. Uh, Medusa. It's really weirdly written down here. I assume it isn't for copyright reasons. Uh, but yeah, this is our boss, Medusa. Um, the stony-eyed terror from down below or something. Um, so yeah, this was the second boss fight. Now I already uploaded my uh, first boss fight with the Brainy Badoon, uh, but I honestly had to say this one is my favorite so far. Only done two, but you know, this one is really great. So you ride this golem from the start, and then you head into battle. Now if you you know press X on Switch, I don't know what the button for PlayStation 4, but you can actually. Uh, you know, see, reflect her attack, so that was pretty easy at first but in the second and third phase there will be a few copies of her and then you need to figure out which one is the real Medusa and which one are fake. So but yeah, you just have to reflect them and then you can take her down, then you can do some major damage. Um, so yeah, but the golem is actually a lot weirder, uh, weaker than I thought actually. So you will see here at first, um, so there are a lot of minions show up, these mold people or whatever they are, but there are, is also one of the eyes from Medusa left behind and he's actually shooting from afar. So you need to feed your golem some ingots, some golden ingots, which they didn't say uh, in the start that that was going to be needed, so luckily I had a few on me, um, eight to be exact. So you just if that happens, if he's shot, he's taken down, and you can just give him a golden ingot, and uh, yeah, he will get back up. So that uh, happened twice to me in this fight, so you just saw both times. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad as long as you don't run out of golden ingots. But I just advise making a few before you start this fight. So once you've taken down the, mi the mini minions, then you can start uh, you know, hitting the eye. And once that is done, Medusa will, you know, pop up, back up. And then she, there she, once again, she starts with a stone glare. And so we're still actually in, just in phase one. We reflect that, everyone is hiding behind us. And bam. So once again, she's stoned and we can actually just start kicking her ass. If she has an ass, I'm not sure. Anyway, so there we go. Then she teleports to another uh, base and a few more minions show up. So you just need to watch the damage here. It's quite actually, uh, you hit really hard as, as this golem. I think you hit for like 120 or something. Oh no, 160. So yeah, you're really a force to break into it. So it's really fun. Uh, there aren't any real new strategies in this fight, but I think it is, you know, this is a really great f uh, boss fight in this game. Uh, the combat isn't my favorite part of the game, it's probably the weakest part uh, in Dragon Quest Builders 2. And the first one was actually also a little bit boring for my taste. But these kind of fights actually just make that much more, you know, better, memorable even. So yeah, I really like this fight. So once again we took down the eye, now Medusa is going to show up, there we go. Uh, so I was already trying to reflect, but there she comes, she teleports to the middle, and now she's going to make a copy of herself. Now the first time in two, the third, next time will be in three times. And now you have to figure out which is the real one. Uh, there's no real way to see the difference, except for when they are starting their stony glare. So um, I'm still figuring out to be honest and look at the white one, he has a dark purple color and the other one has a little lighter color and um, it doesn't really, sh my screen isn't tilted because I had no idea. So I just moved as far back as I could and then I just, um, you know, changed into uh, reflect mode and so whoever shot at me, they would have been reflected. Uh, here I got down from the column because I remember it, I still had that uh, Coupe de Cross attack with Malorat lined up. You don't really need to do that, but uh, you know, it was really helpful. 
And here we have a few more minions. Um, so these times it are the children of Haran with the skeleton warriors and the I don't know what they have the priests, I assume. So yeah, you can see the the eye actually also uh, st you know, stones the minions, the enemy minions, because that bastard got hit over there a moment ago. So yeah, it's and now we just clean up. And I think there's a second wave. Yes, there's a second wave for the executioners probably. And after that, once again, you take down the eye. The copies show up once again, and then you can kill her. Um. So yeah, uh, I think it's a really great fight. Uh, you know, the Brainy Badoon wasn't that interesting for me, actually, you just had to touch a lot of stuff. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, right. Um, Medusa does have a different uh, strategy. She has an added attack in this little phase, the final phase. Um, but we will see in a second. She will start her bom bombarding from above. But yeah, the Brainy Badoon was kind of boring, uh, you know, you just had to, you know, avoid g getting hit and then afterwards you just had to get these uh, banana peels in front of him. So yeah, that was kind of lame, but you know, it, it was just a little bit way too simple and I was expecting the same thing here. So yeah, here's he's bombarding me, uh, but yeah, just move in a circle and you will never get hit. I don't think I get hit anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah, I expected a very boring fight to be honest. Um, as I said, the previous fight I found a little bit boring, but this one was really great. It's a little bit uh, six, seven minutes of fight, um, but yeah, I found it really fun. It isn't hard, but you know, it doesn't always have to be hard. It doesn't have to be Dark Souls incarnate. So once again the tree and now you will see the two go dark purple and the first one is lighter in color and that will be the real stony glare. Um, but once again I was getting back so whoever it was it was gonna hit my reflect. But yeah, it was a middle one. So now she just drops down and dies. And she leaves a little light on behind. Um, yeah, well, if you already done this, you will find out, and you already know, and otherwise you will find out. So thanks for watching, guys, and see ya!